Good morning, Mr. McEwen. Your mission, should you decide to accept, is to find any farm or unused airstrip that I have missed in the nine following flight plans. If possible, find the latitude and longitude for the strip, a name, or even the road directions to them. Then, the idea is to do a touch and go, if the strips are still usable, or if not suitable, just do a low and over and take a picture of each strip we find. The first flight plan was just the start of the idea and not necessarily needing alterations. As you can see, there were 31 airports, so if you add four minutes for each touch and go, that adds two hours to the trip, making it not really feasible. Number two, we will call North Central with 18 airports that I know of off the top of my head likely 320 nautical miles in four hours. I'm sure you will have some more ideas on this flight plan. Up in this area, I'm sure I can count on Marvin Monster to tell me of some more strips that aren't on the main radar. Number three, we will call Southwest with 23 known airports, 339 nautical miles and four plus hours to do it. You'll notice the identifiers in white are ones that I just put the lot long in on and then named them. Uh, the blue ones are on the four flight of course. Now, nothing ever goes perfect. Number four ended up just being a repeat of number three. Uh, but I've already thought of three airstrips that are missing off of it. So there's lots of room between three and four for people to tell me of ones that I don't know about. Number five, we will call West Central. There's 21 airstrips on this listing, but actually only eight of them are on four flight or aviation maps. But I'm sure we can add a lot more in there as Mr. McEwen travels this country a lot. I'm sure he can add to those unknown strips. Number six, we will call South Central with 16 registered strips and only four waypoints that I have added. Um, works out to 267 nautical miles and likely three and three quarter hours to fly. However, I'm sure there's a lot more in here that somebody can add to for me. Coming up, 
up is number seven. Uh, this we'll call the Southeast. Um, with 24 registered strips and three waypoints that I've added in. I know there's a lot more uh, down here. Maybe some of the folks from Morden, Winkler, Lindquist could fill me in on the unregistered strips. As it stands at 345 nautical miles and be over five hours to fly the whole thing. Well, coming up is number eight. Uh, we'll call it the Interlake and East Central. This is definitely an area where I haven't much experience in. There's only three waypoints that I've added in and 19 that I just got off for flight. I'm hoping somebody like Hap could maybe fill in a lot of unknown strips up in this area. As you can see by the way the map looks, it could easily be split into two around Selkirk there as well. Well, now comes the big one. Number nine is the North Country. I believe there was 31 strips on the maps. Um, with 1,650 nautical miles and I calculate 18 hours to fly it, uh, it would definitely be a three-day project. I really don't know. I'm assuming there's more strips up there somewhere that people could land on wheels, but we'll have to see what we can come up with. Okay, so that is the project. I'm sure it can be accomplished while still respecting the social distancing orders we're under. And this is sort of evolving into my Manitoba 150 project that I'd be happy to share with anyone who would like to help by sending me coordinates or directions to strips, or if possible, a photo of the strip on short final and another of a full view from higher beam center field. Any such help could be sent to piercepen at icloud.com. I want to thank you in advance. This is what happens if I get cooped up with only flying or planning to fly to keep me busy. Talk to you again.